Recent news suggests that Iran, a strong supporter of Syria during its civil war, is changing its military presence in response to attacks blamed on Israel. Based on information from a source linked to Iran's ally Hezbollah, Iran has pulled its troops out of southern Syria, including places like Qunaitra and Daraa, near the Golan Heights held by Israel. This move seems to be a reaction to Israel's targeted attacks on Iranian leaders. Even though Iran has reduced its presence in southern Syria, it still has important positions in other parts of the country. Iran is still committed to supporting Syria's government, but it's changing how it does so. This change shows how complicated the situation is in Syria, where different countries compete for power and influence. Iran's adjustments will affect not only Syria, but also the whole Middle East, changing how the conflict unfolds. The situation in Syria shows how many different interests and alliances are involved in the region's politics. With Iran changing its military presence, the conflict in Syria is entering a new phase, with different strategies and goals, all while tensions and power struggles in the region continue. Recent events in Syria show that the conflict is getting more intense, especially regarding Iran's military presence and Israel's actions. Israel has been attacking Iranian targets in Syria, leading Iran to change its strategy there. One of the recent attacks happened on April 1st, destroying what Iran said was a consulate in Damascus and killing seven revolutionary guards, including two generals. This led to Iran launching its own missile and drone attack on Israel on April 13th, 14, making tensions in the region worse. In response, Israel reportedly attacked an Iranian air defense unit in Iran. But Iran had already started changing its strategy before these events. After an attack on January 20th that killed five revolutionary guards in Damascus, including important intelligence personnel, Iran began slowly pulling its troops out of some areas in Syria, like Damascus and southern Syria, as reported by the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. After Iran reduced its forces, fighters from Lebanon and Iraq who support Iran have taken over the positions left by Iranian troops. This shows a change in strategy within the conflict in Syria. Despite Iran saying it only gives advice in Syria, there are still a lot of Iranian soldiers there, along with fighters from Lebanon, Iraq, and Afghanistan. This situation shows how complicated the alliances and rivalries are in the Syrian conflict. Iran's changes in its presence are a response to tensions and attacks. As Iran moves its troops around, the effects of these changes spread across the region, affecting the bigger political picture and making tensions worse. What's happening in Syria reminds us that the region is very unstable, with different groups competing for power and influence. As Iran changes how it's involved in the conflict, it's hard to predict what will happen next, but it will definitely affect the stability and safety of the region. What is Iran's objective in Syria, and how does it back up the Syrian government? Iran's involvement in Syria is multifaceted and extends across various domains, including military, political, and economic support to the Assad regime. Here's a breakdown of Iran's presence in Syria with some data. Military support. Iran has provided significant military assistance to the Syrian government since the outset of the conflict. This includes sending troops, military advisors, and paramilitary forces to bolster Assad's forces. While exact numbers are often difficult to ascertain due to the secretive nature of such operations, estimates suggest that Iran has deployed thousands of military personnel to Syria. For example, as of 2019, it was reported that Iran had around 10,000 Revolutionary Guard troops in Syria. Why Iran supplies military support to Syria, Syria serves as a key ally and strategic foothold for Iran in the Middle East. By supporting the Assad regime militarily, Iran can maintain its influence in the region and counter the influence of rival powers, particularly Saudi Arabia and Israel. Syria's stability is vital for Iran's regional agenda. 
A friendly government in Damascus allows Iran to establish a corridor of influence stretching from Tehran to the Mediterranean, enabling it to project power and support its allies, such as Hezbollah in Lebanon. Iran views itself as a bulwark against Sunni extremism, particularly groups like ISIS and other jihadist organizations. By supporting Assad's government, which is dominated by Alawites, a Shiite minority, Iran perceives itself as protecting religious and sectarian interests in the region. Syria is home to several important Shiite religious sites, including the Sayyida Zainab Shrine near Damascus. Iran sees protecting these sites as a religious obligation and a means of rallying support among Shiite communities, both in Syria and abroad. Iran views Syria as part of its broader strategy to deter Israeli aggression by maintaining a military presence in Syria and supporting proxy militias like Hezbollah, Iran aims to create a deterrent against potential Israeli attacks on Iranian interests. What is the origin of the Syrian civil war and how did it start? The Syrian civil war has been a devastating conflict that began in 2011 as a popular uprising against the authoritarian government of President Bashar al-Assad. Over the years, it has evolved into a multifaceted and complex conflict involving multiple factions with their own interests and goals. These include the Assad regime, supported by Russia, Iran, and other allies, which seeks to maintain power through any means necessary. There's also the Syrian opposition, comprising various groups seeking to overthrow the Assad regime and establish a democratic government. Additionally, Kurdish forces, primarily the Kurdish People's Protection Units, YPG, and the Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, are focused on securing autonomy for Kurdish regions while combating ISIS and other jihadist groups. ISIS itself emerged from the chaos of the Syrian civil war and has committed numerous atrocities in its pursuit of establishing a caliphate. Foreign powers, such as Russia, Iran, the United States, Turkey, and Gulf states have intervened in support of different factions, further complicating the conflict. The Syrian civil war has been shaped by significant events and turning points. These include the Assad regime's use of chemical weapons against civilians in 2013, which sparked international condemnation and threats of military intervention. The rise of ISIS in 2014 further complicated the conflict, leading to increased international involvement. Russia's intervention in support of the Assad regime in 2015 shifted the balance of power in the government's favor. The siege of Aleppo in 2016 was a pivotal moment that saw the regime and its allies capture the city, dealing a significant blow to the opposition. The U.S. decision to withdraw troops from Syria in 2019 effectively ceded control of parts of the country to the Assad regime and its allies. Additionally, the humanitarian crisis resulting from the conflict has been severe, with millions of Syrians forced to flee their homes and seek refuge in neighboring countries. According to the United Nations, over 13 million Syrians require humanitarian assistance, and over six million are internally displaced. The war has also caused extensive damage to infrastructure, including hospitals, schools, and other essential services. What are your thoughts about the Syrian civil war?